today we are using our imagination. We're at the Alliance Theater and I've got all kinds of, of things here. I've got a Viking astronaut, I've got Stevie Wonder, I've got a princess, I've got all types of people here. And you know what? I'm gonna use my imagination today and be the host of a television show called Atlanta Mom. And like I said, we're at the Alliance Theater. It's actually Atlanta's only Tony Award winning theater right here in Atlanta. Now these kids, are you guys gonna show me around and show me how it's done? Yeah! Let's do it. Tell us, what all does the Alliance Theater offer for kids and parents in Atlanta? Uh, it's kind of astounding how much we're doing for uh, families and for kids. We literally are, have programs for people. The way I try and frame it is for people one to a hundred. And that, that's not exaggerating. We literally have a program for kids who are a year old to come here and to not only um, experience and participate in the art form by taking acting classes, but also see um, performances that are based uh, or that are geared towards them. There's a class for uh, one to four-year-olds is the theater for the babies. And then we have a class parents and tots for four and five-year-olds. Then there are classes for first and second graders, third to fifth, sixth to eighth grade. And then we have our high school classes. And then beyond that, all of our adult offerings. So almost a class for pretty much so anybody right. at any time, anytime, at any point yes. in life. Yes, wherever you're at in your life, there is a chance to come and experience what we do here. So. Uh, can you t walk us through kind of, you know, what goes on in some of these, this class is a typical acting class for a child? Sure. Um, I mean, it, it does depend on the age, but all of them are really committed to um, in expanding a child's imagination. Um, and acting can be broken down for, for a child. We think of it, there are three essentials. There's the body, the mind, and the um, imagination. So we do things that free them up physically, teach them movement, um, and then the, I'm sorry, the body, the voice and the imagination so and then we'll do uh, vocal work with them and then also exercises that will expand their imagination with either improvisation um, and then we start to work with scripts and text um, and then all of this is geared towards a final showcase for the parents so they're getting this process but then they're also getting a chance to put it into practice and get, do something on that final day in front of their parents and give them a chance to perform that material. We're here with Anne, who has a daughter in a class here. Now, what's the class she's in? Kids in Film. Now, tell us about the class and what your child's experiencing. She loves it. It's They actually are practicing doing commercials, so they're on TV, and they have, like, a little camera, and the kids practice, you know, just being in front of an audience. Are you guys both a little nervous? I was a little bit more nervous than her. She has no inhibitions about anything. She just wants to do different things and experience different things. So as a parent, that's my responsibility to help her do that. Now, a question. There's a lot of moms that are watching and their kids probably want to join, but they might be a little bit nervous. Was your child nervous at all? No, she wanted to come. She started out with um, moving and grooving, and she's done um, a couple, pro not productions. They were the kids' productions she did on um, Disney. The Disney production here. So was she really excited about it? She was very excited about it. She plays the violin and so we were going to come to our first um, orchestra show here during the holiday season. So I just thought that would give her a great chance to, you know, have fun and meet some friends and kind of work on her self-esteem and just building new relationships. So we have a very brand new program called Theater for the Very Young, which is designed for kids ages one to four. And it's, it's thrilling um, to There's see. There's no other place in Atlanta that offers classes for someone that young. There, there's not, or performances really for that age. It's a really interesting uh, um, age group and we are really uh, dedicated to offering them a, a high art. It's not just Teletubbies. You know, people say, oh, what can you do with a, a kid who's 18 months old? But it's really trying to give them an artistic experience and introduce them to this art form at that young of an age. We're here with Salisa with her daughter Kate and they are in the class for the theater for the very young, is that correct? Um, that's right, we're looking forward to going to the theater for the very young, yeah, it's performances and we're really excited about it. Now is that the one that the parents also go to? That's right, yeah, and it's a full production, it has sets and lights and costumes and everything, but the people who are supposed to come are toddlers, kids one to three with their parents, which is very exciting. Then we also have a class that's really fun for parents called Parents and Tots, where they the parents are actually taking the acting class with the child, not just watching them, but say you had a, a little guy, you'd be in there acting with them and taking these scenes that you could then go home and, and continue to work on on your own. So it's really giving them an opportunity to play together. 
well, there's both classes for kids who are this young, but this is an actual show, an actual show for um, for kids who are one to three. And so often when you come to the theater, like I came to the theater with my parents starting when I was two. So I like to take her and you just see everyone's faces melt. You know, oh no, it's a toddler. So uh, theater for the very young is some place where you walk in and they say, yay, it's a toddler. And for the moms that are watching out there that maybe have never taken taken an acting class, mm -hmm. that's a great way for them to also, you know, maybe get back into something they've never tried before. Absolutely. You'd be shocked at how many people say, oh, I did this in high school, then I, you know, I, I, I ended up going to college, got married and went this way, but I still had this kind of desire to try this. And absolutely, there are moms who take classes while their kids are in class, you know, while they're here waiting for them, they can also take a class, so. Now, did she get the acting bug from you, Mom? No. <laughs> Not from me. I don't know where she got it from, but she loves it. I decided to look at the education program and I found this class and I thought it would be a great opportunity for Zion to hone in on some of her puppet show skills at home <laughs> to get better at it. What kind of experience has she gained out of this? A lot of acting experience. It has built her confidence and her self-esteem. She's very outgoing, even more so now she's very comfortable in her skin. Yes, I think it really does build on her confidence and her self-esteem and I want her to be as outgoing as possible and it also helps her to articulate more with people and be able to feel comfortable in herself. So. I think that it's really good for her concentration and I also think it is really good um, in terms of learning how to share, share things and share attention uh, and it's really good for her learning how to help, help mama go to the theater, help the actors. I think it's easy sometimes for parents to get your kids in a lot of sporting events but sometimes when it comes to this you get a little bit nervous. What would you tell moms out there? Well, I think that even if you're involved in the arts, you're still becoming a team player and you're also learning lifelong skills because you know how to deal with people, you know how to communicate, and you also become a risk taker. So I think that's a great opportunity and parents get involved. It's fun. I've had such a great time here in Midtown at the Alliance Theater. We've explored our creativity, our imagination, and moms, I know you and your kids would have a great time taking a class down here. Instead of those video games, explore your imagination and make sure you explore our Facebook page on our Comcast On Demand Facebook page. Until next time, I'm Renee Rails for Atlanta Mom.